Welcome back, oddly enough, to Let's Play East 4, or Ease 4, rather, Mask of the Sun. So, last time I gave up in frustration because I was literally too weak to beat the next boss. Um, I do recommend going back and seeing the LP because this game sure does have some... Actually, it doesn't have level design. That's the problem. <laughs> I can't... Oh, good. I forgot that SNES 9X likes to crash um, when you have your controller come unplugged. I need to switch to just PS5 controller full-time at some point. Right. Ease 4, Mask of the Sun. So, this time I made sure to be level 20, which is the highest level you can reasonably be at this point. Um... There are enemies in here that give 10 XP instead of 1 XP, but that's... They spawn one at a time, and I'm not putting up with that. I don't have enough damage to just kill them head on, so it's too much effort. Um, I did go um, back to... What's the place called? Um, starts with a P. Uh... Promorok, or whatever it's actually called in this game, um, because I'm using a translation, a guide that just read the game translation itself, like, could read some of it themselves, um, rather than using the Aeon Genesis patch, which I'm using, um, and I purchased, um, not the herb, but that is going to be very helpful, um, the broadsword. I forget if I bought the longsword and large shield and um, breastplate in my original playthrough, but I bought them here. Because they're actually better than the thunder set. Lilia. This is the boss, alright. Adol, you came to rescue me? You would dare to try this. You would dare try to take this girl from us. And here's the boss that I literally could not beat. Um, if I can... Oh my god. I'm okay save stating because I do have an actual save made. So... Right, blue... If I can... Get an actual hit on you. That would be nice. Oh. Oh, I'm required to use magic here. That is... Annoying. Wait. Can you use magic? Oh, yeah, you can. For some reason, I thought you couldn't. Let me double check this FAQ to make sure I'm actually fighting it the right way. Um, keep running around, hacking. No, that, that's a different thing. The pets. Get the boss. Only attack with the spike. Oh, the spikes go actually go down. Okay. So I got kind of a hankering. Oh, I see. Their HP bar doesn't actually come up. Um, go ahead and use an herb. Spike this down. Just, just smack into him. Kill him. There we go. Alright, that was the boss that we could not deal with. <sighs> Lilia! You presume much to think we would allow her to leave alive. I know that voice. Bobby! Ugh! Ugh! 
Lilia's gone. Look, they have taken her. Huh? What's that? You got the Eye of the Moon, the very reason we came here to Silver Rock Castle. So now we can go speak with the Elder. There you are, Adol. We've successfully taken the castle. Unfortunately, there's no sign of Gerudo or his companions. It was too late. Lily has been taken somewhere else. Ah, I'm sorry, but try not to be discouraged. I'll help you find her. That Lisa girl knows more about all of this than she lets on. I'd stake my life on it. If you want my advice, I'd say you should get back to Highland and get more information out of her. I'll stay here for a while and tend to the wounded. Go on ahead, Adol. I'll catch up. Yeah, I got a hankering from Falcom Games and remembered, oh yeah, I still have this LP going. And there's like... Uh, well, let's face it, this is an early ease game. We're four hours in, level 20 out of 20... It's not 25, I think it's 30 in this game. We are towards the end of the game. In fact, let me see how many steps we are um, in this FAQ. Um... Yeah, we are about to get to step... Oh, we're about two-thirds of the way through. Though it's actually sizable, but each step is not equal. Especially now that we have the wing, which we can use infinitely. To fast travel around. How much money do we have? Uh, 2,000 gold. I should grind the gold, but I just started the recording. Uh... I don't suppose I can use the wing from this room. I can! Cool. Um, in that case... Uh, let's go back to... Not Zeptic. Um... This isn't the place I wanted to go, but it's close enough. What's the main town from Ease 1? That one. I forget if I mentioned it in the original LP, but I do love when RPGs, like, take old overworld stuff and, like, truncate it down. Like, Zelda 2 did it, um, one of the Dragon Quests did it, but saying which one is a spoiler. Right, let's go ahead and hit the hospital because I can buy another herb here. I do recommend going back and watching this LP because, well, Ease is a very good series, but it does not, it is not an entirely good series. There is some interesting stuff mixed in here. Um, I'm not going to do Dawn of Ease next. Um, I actually want to do a different Falcom game, a much more modern one. It's not a Ease remake, though. Right. Um, Highland isn't the one I would think to go to, now that I have the Eye of the Moon, but eh, that's where I suggested to go. I don't remember what house is what, because it has been a couple of years at this point. Because that uh, LP was when I was living in Tennessee, which may have had something to do with my shorter temper. Although I'm not sure I'm much better right now. I don't know. So how rude I was to you. Some leaves in a while. I wonder where she could have gone. I can't believe the storm veil has been violated for, by... What did I call it? Did I call it like Silverlock or something? Merchant. I don't think you have anything new now. Be sure to be quiet. Oog. Oog. 
Do everything you can in order to stay healthy. No, the game specifically said, we've wronged you greatly in our treatment of you. Traveler, please go speak to the Elder. I'm sure it will help you. Yeah, this may not be an official, like, Falcom-made game, but damn if the music isn't still good. It's the rare game where I think the instrumentation is actually hurt by being on the SNES. It's probably this big building here. Yeah. Must be Edel, I take it. I figured you might be coming back here, but Lisa isn't in at the moment. She left very shortly after you went to the castle. Why would she do that? I wish it were not the case, but she has not been entirely truthful with you since meeting you. Not to say she's been lying, mind you, but she's left out some important details, so I'll fill in the gaps for you as best I can. Lisa explained to me that you came here because of a letter that she wrote. I imagine you were filled I imagine you were frustrated with her when she would not explain her reasons, and rightfully so. Since ancient times, it has been the responsibility of this village to watch over the Storm Vale and see that these, those hallowed grounds remain pure. One person in the village is given the primary duty. For this generation, it has fallen to Lisa. The most significant aspect of this role is to look... Oh, crap. Look after the one. One day, Lisa grew suspicious that something had changed in the one, that his heart had darkened and he began to harbor evil ambitions. This was unfortunate, to say the least. We revere the one as a god, and none more so than Lisa herself. Further complicate matters, Lisa began to develop feelings for the one. Sadly, love has a way of ignoring whatever warnings we see, and so these warning group feelings grew in spite of her worries about his intentions. She didn't want to believe him capable of such things, and that's why she's been acting the way she has. So I assume this one you're referring to is Eldil, right? Yes. And so she wrote that letter in the hope that someone might find it and solve the problems that she couldn't. Which brings us to your arrival. I think that Lisa felt that she could only accomplish her duties by asking for outside help. I hope that you can try to understand her reasoning at all. Please try not to hold it against her. Hey bro, haven't seen you in a while. Durin? What brings you here? I told you, information is my business. Like I also said, there's always a market for it anywhere you go, so here I am. Got some juicy info that I thought you might be interested in purchasing. Not again. Hey, what's with the attitude? Okay, so another girl's been kidnapped. That's no reason to take it out on me. What? Just who the hell do you think we are? Or you are. Sorry. I got a little overly Kamina there. Oh, would you relax? I told you, I deal in information. Plus, I've got just the kind of info you're looking for. How much would you pay for the details on how to get an audience with the sage? How does nothing say... <laughs> Adol is having none of this crap. I know, I need three special gems. I've already found them. Man, you're one step ahead of me. How am I supposed to make mo any money if you can get the goods faster than I can? Well, alright. I'll just tell you this, then. What I've been able to figure out, the Sage has close ties to Lord Lafonts and the ancient civilization of Celsida. At least, I think he does. Plus, I get the feeling that the whole to-do with the missing people and the Romans is just a small part of the whole picture. Oh, maybe that missing girl somehow got caught up in the old legends. Who knows, though? I'd be totally off. Whoa, I've been yammering away here. I need to go. I'll let you beat me to the juicy info next time, bro. Take it easy. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Okay, loading the state doesn't help, so let's reset the em emulation. Yeah, Tonkin House did an interesting job with this game. Let's go back to Celery. Um, one thing I want to note, I never really brought this up in the original LPs. Um, the Ease games are... Uh, In-universe, these are novelizations or... Well... Theoretically, they're supposed to just be the journals of Adol um, that are published, but um, it seems a popular theory is that they're incomplete, 
so um, writers, or a writer at least, fills in the blanks. Uh, you know, think about how there are multiple translations of, I don't know, the Bible. Um, and that's why we have things like the Split in Ease 4, we have the remakes, um, and everything, every version of the games is going to be slightly different. Um, that's why the original Ease games are Ease Book, Book of Ease 1 and 2. So that's just an interesting thing. Or at least I find it interesting. I don't... Uh, do I care enough to grind... The armor is 10k a pop. No, I'll just go buy them later. Let's be locked. Refuses to open. Right, I need to go talk to the elder here. What's that? By the spirits! Never in all my years did I ever think I'd look upon someone who had held all three of the sacred eyes. I must admit, I underestimated you at all. I suspected you may well have been pure enough to serve Lef Lord LaFonce. It didn't even surprise me to see you bearing the eyes of the earth and sun. But I believe the eye of the moon to be forever vanished from Celsida, lost eventually to become the stuff of legends and folklore. I commend you, young sir. I will now take you to the sage as promised. This is the sage. I'll take my leave now. You may ask him whatever you wish. I must congratulate you on your achievements. Never suspected that anyone would ever obtain all three of the sacred eyes and show up at my doorstep. I doubt you came here just for sightseeing or a vacation. Are you investigating everything that's been happening here of late? As to why Celsita is in such dire peril, I can only speculate on the true cause. I believe that the ancient civilization of eons ago stirs from its eternal rest. Ancient civilization? It was thought to have been wiped out centuries ago. If it indeed still exists, its power will pose a grave threat to the entire world if it is reawakened. It would also explain the Romans set an interest in our nation. They seek that power for their own. There was once another race, known to the humans simply as the Winged Ones. My research has suggested that they resided in this land long before a human's arrival. I think that E's origin actually kind of goes into this. Huh. There's a prophecy that is passed down from our ancestors. There shall be one with wings divine, and he shall attain true glory. For some time, humans and the winged ones coexisted in peace. This came to an abrupt end when our ancestors made a shocking discovery. Evidently, the winged ones were not so benevolent as they would have the humans believe. Their aim was to enslave us and use us as food. When news of this discovery spread, war broke out between them. The bitter fighting went on for decades. It seemed as though it might never end, but eventually, Lord Lafont arrived along with the five disciples, and he led the humans to victory. The Winged Ones held three masks and corresponding eyes, which granted them the power of absolute control over their civilization. These are the eyes of the moon, sun, and earth, which you now hold in your hands. At the end of the war, the humans led claim to them, and the Winged Ones' city sank beneath the earth. Lord Lafont decreed that the Winged Ones who survived were to be confined to a single sanctified area. This area became known as the Stormvale, and the Winged Ones must live there, along with those who safeguard it. Ironically, it is because of humans that any of the Winged Ones survived. Lord Lafont etched a warning in the ruins to prepare the people in case that ancient city were to somehow be restored after his death. That is the will, at, will be as blood ever darkening thereafter inscription, which you have no doubt seen. And that brings us to now. The lake is red. The time is nearly upon us must have the assistance of Lord LaFonce, else it shall all be repeated. We must call forth his soul to aid us. In order to do so, we must find the sword he carried, the Hero Sword. The Hero Sword. That sacred blade lies deep within the Mountain of Flame. Without it, we stand no chance at all. The task before you is to go to the Mountain of Flame and seek out the sword. Between the Mountains of Flame and Ice, there is a temple which was used to seal away the Winged One's city. An old man named Gazok lives near there, and he is devoted to studying their civilization and culture. If you speak to him, I expect he can show you how best to proceed.
Gotta admit, I do not remember very well the world map to this game. Uh, does the Elder have anything to say? Spoken with the Sage. Hope his wisdom proves helpful to you. Take care. I think Temple of the Earth is at the Ice Mountain. I mean, I would have to assume so, anyway. Or is the Temple of Earth the place I need to go? I guess we'll see. Credit where it's due to the game, it does warn you with flashing lights when a boss is coming up. Oh god, there, this was where the mirror maze was. Is Galzuk the guy? I think that is actually the guy who was already in here who gave us the Eye of Earth. It's not in here. It's probably with his sick wife. If I were to hazard a crazy guess. Which means we just cut through over here. Probably would have been faster to just go from Celery. Yeah, I mean, I like tying up loose ends like this LP, Etrian Odyssey, the Summon Knight Swordcraft Story LP. And this puts me one step close to actually redoing the Memories of Celsita LP, which is in dire need of redoing, even the start of. You found all three of the eyes! I'm impressed! I've had no luck, and I've been trying to find them for ages. I need to go to the Mountain of Flame to find the Hero Sword. The Sage told me that you would be able to show me the way there. The Hero Sword? Ha! I guess now I should consider you my rifle. But the Mountain of Flame... To be honest, I've never been there. Hmm. What? You mean you don't know how to get there? Now, don't get all worked up. The Mountain of Flame is supposed to sit opposite of the Mountain of Ice. So logically, if ice is east of the lake, the west must be flame. Hmm. 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 I'm home, dear. Oh, hello, Adol. Oh, you, the cell seed of flower actually helped. Hmm? What Mountain of Flame? I couldn't tell you, but I did notice that a cave has opened up under the waterfall off to the west. I guess that water finally caused a bit of a cave-in. That must be it. Leave it to my wife to save the day. I'd say you should check it out at all. Um, did he say that the mountain of ice was to the east? He's up south. Are we dealing with... Oh, no, never mind. Yes, it is. Weird. Let's see. Uh, 66, 67. I should take the level up. Because we've established this game can be very mean. If you don't grind. Should I, uh... You know what, let's just kill things as we explore and avoid any flashing light rooms. Apparently we are also getting like a gear set in the near future, so I guess we don't really need to grind out. Yeah, we don't need to grind out specifically that. 
But I don't know if that's going to be better than what I can buy. Oh, um, I ate on the broad. Yes, I am. Cool. Yeah, strength is like. Holy crap, important in these games. Uh, less so in. the games after. Ease 5. Because they don't actually do the. you literally cannot scratch this enemy thing. Past Ease 5. I assume it's not in. I assume it's in Ease 5 itself? But East 5 is like... Okay, those are just like very cute kobold things? Oh, I really like whatever that monster is. Are they like fennec foxen? I know what they are. I like them. Maybe a little too enthusiastically. <laughs> Yeah, this is a fine enough spot to level up, especially since they can't hurt me with my current defense, even though it's, well, it's literally suboptimal for this point. In fact, uh, let me see. If I go, is there a way I can... Alright, I'll just grind it the normal way. Yeah, they got like big tails and ears and They almost remind me of like what I imagine a young Gygus looked like. I'm not gonna try it. Every time I try to say his pre- his- yeah, his pre gigas name, I get relentlessly mocked. It looks like Gigue to me. Gigu just sounds ugly. Dang, these guys are given 24 experience, which, sad to say, is a lot. That's just a straight-up same guitar as he's used in Mega Man X. Strength up to 157. Uh, you're not... I need 2,000 freaking experience to level up here. Waterfall Cave. Okay, we're not getting stuff here yet. It's the next dungeon, then. Okay, jellyfish things. What, give 11 experience? Like, okay, these games do require max level. I don't know if they re always require max gear. I do find it interesting how... Oh, right, we're in a proper dungeon. I can't regen. Um, like... There were only two other games before this in this game's style. Yet it already has its tropes. Like, I really like recommending people the Ease series because I can truthfully say you will find your favorite type of action RPG in here, unless it's Diablo, but it shouldn't be. Actually, what would be the Japanese equivalent to Diablo? I guess that would just be like...
I almost want to say mystery dungeon games. Those are more heavily roguelike. Where Diablo is like, it uses our random level, like terrain generation, but that's not its primary characteristic. God, I love that silly Mega Man X guitar. Despite the fact I haven't technically beaten the Mega Man X game, I think I got to the final stages of the PSP version at one point, but like... It's a little rough on my thumbs going back to those games. Here I am, grinding that 2000 XP anyway. We've taken damage, but I do have an herb. And if there's an exterior, I can probably, like, warp out by an other herb and come back. But yeah, like, you have... A marooned adventure game in Ease 8. Um, you have basically a dungeon crawler in, you know, action RPG form, party based action RPG form, in um, Memories of Celsita. You have very retro games in Ease 1, 2, and 4. You have a weird platforming game in Ease 3. You have Hack and Slash in Ease, uh, Oath of Felghana, Ark of Naf Nafishtim. God, what's the other one? I have to check my Steam library now. Um, Falgana, Nafishtim, or Nafishtim. Wasn't there another item? Oh, Origin, duh, that's the other isometric one. But yeah, this series just has so much variety. But then if you like one, you're probably going to like them all because of the continuity. The series is so good. God, I'm glad I save stated. SNES 9X is low quality software. Waterfall Cave Passage. Cannot use from here. Okay. And here's the fire level. <laughs> 25 XP each is not bad, considering I can very easily mow these fireballs down. Yeah. And then, you know... There's probably a Zanadu game in a similar enough style to what whatever Ease game you like anyway. Unless it's the isometric ones, the closest thing you get there is Zanadu next, but that's actually closer to the bump system games. Like Fazanadu, which, oh my god. Which for the longest time, I did not realize was Famicom Zanaru. In fact, I only recently, like within the last couple months, realized it was Famicom Zanaru. Don't mind me, just getting a completely different controller.
that apparently has the same drivers. It's not actually gone, though? Uh, oh. My god, it's... Using... The controller speakers. Why is this like this? This LP is doomed to jank. Next time on Let's Play Ease 4 Mask of the Sun, I wonder what else can go wrong. In reality, we're doing the fire KFC guys on.